The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining to the, today's webinar. Today's webinar, we will be talking about the CRM for Outlook user permission. As you know, we have an integration to CRM for Outlook where you actually can pull up SAP data without uh, logging into SAP, which becomes very handy when you are on the road, you're in a hotel or anywhere and a customer asks you something, hey, how many invoices do we have open or uh, what is my account balance, you actually can pull it up straight from your Outlook. So you can communicate from Outlook to your customer. And as you know, we all communicate a lot through Outlook, uh, uh, not phones anymore as much. Uh, all the communication to customers is really via email. And today we're going to talk about the permission. I have gotten the question several times, what about permission in Outlook? What can the user see? So we have our own permission with CRM. So you can set the permission for a group uh, of users, what they can do or see. And I will go into the system and show that to you. Okay? So you still have control over it. So we build our own uh, permission. So if I go into, um, if I pull up Outlook, for example, let me move it over to the screen. Minimize this. Oops, where did it go? Here it is. If I have Outlook right here, you see up here, as you most likely know, you have SAP data here. It looks at the email address from uh, uh, your recipient and it pulls up the, uh, uh, the customer, in my case, uh, up here. Okay, so you have the customer information, you have all the open items. You can create new customers or a business partner. If you click right here on find and if you go right here, add new business partner. So I have gotten several times, I don't want certain, a certain user group to uh, create new business partners. Or they don't want to see maybe their account balance. They don't want to show their account balance to a certain user group. And you can set that uh, uh, on the portal where you set up your CRM for Outlook users. Okay? Uh, if I go, for example, to a different uh uh, user right here, an uh, email, you see a different business partner comes up because this person is a contact person uh, with Microchimp. So where do you set the permission up? So if I go into our portal, once you have CRM installed, you have most likely an admin user who, um, who takes care of the portal. Right here, you see you can create a new a new user. So for example, in my case, you only see one user, that's me. So you just put in the name and the email address. And then you send an activation email to that user. Your CRM for Outlook is installed. So you send them an activation email uh, uh, to, to the user so they can activate their CRM for Outlook, okay? If you have more questions about that, let me know. In my case, it's only me right here. Uh, my CRM is set up, as you saw, and you see I have all permission. I can do everything. So if I go in here, you see I have all permission. But I have uh, different user groups. So I'm going back one more time, and I'm going to click on Manage User Group. Okay, you see I have all permission user, human resource, purchase user, sales user, service user, and read-only user. To create a new user, you just click here, you give it a name, okay, and if you have all permission set, you don't have uh, any other choices, but if I uncheck that, you see right here, you can decide what they can do, okay? So I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull up a different one. And I'm going to go into sales user, for example. So let's go into sales user. You see right here, I have all, 
all those uh, tasks selected, all those features selected, the sales user can do. But then I have certain things they can't do. Okay. So, um, for example, let's say uh, this user is not able to do service calls, for example. Okay. So if I go back to CRM for Outlook, so you see, you see right here. Uh, let me go. Oops, sorry about that. You can create, uh, oh, you know what? I just did a test. Let me go out and go back in and make sure I have all permission. I did it right before the webinar. I set it to a sales user and I didn't log off and go back in to refresh it. Let me go back in one more time. And I should have all permission because that's what my user uh, said right there. Okay, so if I go to YouTube team, it's not assigned to a customer yet. There we go. Service call. You see this right here? So I can do a service call. I can do activity, sales opportunity, quotation order. So if I go back now and let's say, I'm going to attach either the service you, uh, the sales user or purchase user to my account. I'm going to go to the user. You click right here and I'm just going to change it here. And I'm going to say sales user. I'm going to save it. There we go. I do have to go back out and go back in to refresh it. I'm going to do that really quick. As you saw. And it's going to take a minute. And now I should not be able to do a service call again. But I wanted you to see it one more time. There we go. You see Tim right here is not connected to a business partner. So it comes up like this. But as soon as I move to another customer or uh, another U, uh, email address that is connected to my SAP, um, uh, the business partner comes up. And if I go here, you see service call is grayed out. So let's say you don't want the user to see the account balance. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my manage the user group. So you see that and I'm going to go into sales user. And I'm going to choose, for example, you have many, many options. I'm going to go to view BB uh, business partner balances and I'm going to remove this one and save it because when I have a uh, a sales user, for example, log on. Let me restart Outlook. Maybe I don't want him to see the uh, business partner balance. Just an example. It's just something I was asked before. So if I open up Outlook again and I go to my CRM uh, for Outlook right here and let me move it over here. And Move it back and forth. There we go. And you see right here, I don't see the business partner balance. It's grayed out. If I go to another one, I won't, I will not see that. So you have the flexibility on the portal to tell a user what they can see or not. One more thing I would like to show you is, um, is here. For example, if I go back here, actually, let me open up one of them. Let's, let's stick with the sales user. Okay, you have these report groups here. You have report group 10, and you see all those groups right here. Uh, similar what you know from SAP Business One on the query manager. Remember, you assign them to a group, and certain users can see a certain group. It's the same here. So what does this do? If you have the B1 usability package also installed, what's so nice about uh, that is that you can actually attach reports uh, in CRM for Outlook. OK, so I have a report here. It's just a very simple uh, report. The last 10 items this customer purchased. So they can uh, pull up a SQL report in CRM for Outlook. OK, but 
uh, you need to have the B1 usability package because the SQL uh, queries come from the universal function from the usability package. Okay? And I'm going to show you this really quick. If I go into SAP Business One, and uh, you see right here, you can do a grid like I uh, I just showed you, or you can do a chart report. It's really neat. You have everything at your fingertip. So if I go into SAP Business One, and you have the usability package installed, module configuration, if you're familiar, uh, universal function, and I'm going to pull up my SQL reports. Okay, and this is the, the one we just looked at, last 10 items purchased. It's just a SQL report, and you have the option right here, CRM for Outlook, which group you're going to assign this report. Does that make sense? In my case, I have them in every group. But let's say you do a certain report, of, let's say for the sales team, only the sales, gr uh, sales uh, group should see that report, then you have the flexibility to assign it to a certain group and make sure only the sales um, group can see that report. I wanted to mention that because I want you to, if you come in here, you might wonder what is the report groups, okay? But this is your permission. This is your permission setup uh, on the portal. Uh, in the portal, you go in here, you set up your users, and then you assign them to permission groups. Okay. In my case, I'm now a sales user, so I don't have all permission. And then you have the flexibility and see what they can do and see right here. Okay. So if I go back to my um, to my slides. So you see right here, set your permission on the portal. And uh, CRM for Outlook, if you're not familiar with it, if you don't have it installed, install it. We do have a 20 day free trial. Uh, hook it up with your data, set it up with your data. It makes more sense. It's really nice to go into CRM and a customer ask you something and you can just look it up there and you have all the thing, uh, information in uh, uh, at your fingertip. Also, it is real time. If you put in a business partner in CRM, it flows uh, back straight to SAP. If you create an activity, uh, it goes back straight to SAP. And uh, if you don't know, you don't have to have the SAP client installed as long the server is up somewhere in the world. And it can be in another continent. As long the server is up running, you can connect to your SAP data. And you need to have your Outlook installed and you need to have internet uh, and your Outlook client installed and your laptop. It comes very handy when you travel, you're at a hotel, you have everything at your fingertip. If you have any questions, please write us to sales at boymit.com or support. If you have a support question, follow us on uh, Facebook, um, on Twitter, uh, uh, follow us. We have webinars coming up all the time. Please sign up for them. Uh, give us ideas uh, which webinars you would like to see. Okay, I hope this was useful. I know it's a short session. Uh, I know it would be, but I really wanted to do that because I do get asked this a lot. But if any other questions come up or if I forgot to mention anything, please write to us. Okay, thank you so much for joining and I'm going to try to open it up for questions now. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, unmute. If you have questions, maybe you want to write in the chat, please. And if not, um, this webinar will be available also on YouTube. Uh, uh, and uh, so the recording will be available. And as I said, if any questions come up later, please uh, let us know. And if you want a free trial, Download it, go to Boy MIT, just uh, go in there and say Boy MIT free trial, and you will have uh, the option to download it for free. Okay? I don't see any questions. Thank you so much for joining. Have a wonderful day, and uh, hopefully, you join future uh, webinars of ours. Thank you so much.